Guys, I would like to show you how to unbreak the Samsung Galaxy S3, the model i747M. I bricked it yesterday trying to unlock the bootloader. What, uh, in fact, uh, it's a mo it, the version was the 4.3, and I tried to unlock the bootloader to fully downgrade the phone to the previous version. So I use the application, it's called Easy Unlock or Unlock, something like that. So when I pressed on Unlock the bootloader, I break the phone. Now it doesn't start at all. You can see I put the battery inside. When I press on power, nothing happens. And it doesn't go to download mode also. So it's completely doesn't start as you can see nothing happens nothing uh, no vibrations nothing so I found the solution on the internet it's uh, the on the forum from the XDA developers it's one guy found a way to debrick the phone so in order to do this you will need the SD micro card 16 gigs I try to use less than 16 gigs so for example 2 gigs and this doesn't work <coughs> so in the forum I will put the link in the description you you need to download the debrick uh, image after that you need to use the you can see on the screen the program called win32 disk imager whatever I will put in the description so you should put the debris image to the image file you should put uh, you should connect your micro SD card to the computer and choose the device and uh, press the right button so you will prepare the SD card with uh, bootloader on it and what we're gonna do we will start the phone from SD card it's like BIOS for regular PC so I put the card inside and with this SD card whatever we can start we can boot up the phone in regular I did it before let me just hold a moment please in fact it doesn't start but to go to download mode I will press volume down button menu button and power button when I feel vibrate I will release power button come on ok guys Let's try again. Down button, home button, power button. Okay, I release power button, and you can see now it goes to download mode when I press volume up. Even for example, okay, I will show you downloading. You see, so now I can connect to the Odin. I will use version 309. In fact, I need to <coughs> so connect before the cable after start loading, and you will see here it's called it's called edit. So, I will try next to do this, but also I would like to show you what uh, you can boot up the phone even like that. So, I will press and hold volume down button, home button, hold it a little bit, no, because it tries, it tries to start up right away, uh, okay, like that. You see, I, I feel the vibration and I release all buttons. Now it will start as usual. 
it will boot up completely to the working state. So I just put the inside the battery and press home button and volume down. And it and after that I release quickly after I feel the vibration. So now it's loading up to the regular uh, state. So next I will, uh, you can see it works now. But without this SD card it will not start in any mode. Okay. Now I will remove the battery. Uh, load the phone to the download mode. Even it works without uh, pressing on uh, power button. Now I press volume up, continue, and I will try to recover the phone to the version 4.3, not less, because as I found the uh, bootloader from 4.3 does not accept any other uh, types of so you can see here it's a firmware Bell 4.3 for i747M I will choose this image and I will put in the description where you can uh, get this now Odin processing with this file and I hope it will recover my phone Now the Odin uh, checking MD5. Okay, now it show here successfully. I will press on start button and don't forget it should show you what phone is connected here. And about this checkbox, you should only, in fact, Odin starts with those two checkbox uh, checked. So it should be auto reboot and F reset time. Others checkbox should be unchecked. So I press on the start here uh, and load uh, to load your image. You should use AP. So press on start and let's see what will happen. Now it's processing everything and it's doing its job. But I just uh, would like to. Remind you what this phone was bricked. I couldn't start it in any way without this uh, method. Method is completely working. So here it shows the progress. Now it's station system image they when you up, upgrade your phone to the to the Android 4.3 after that you cannot downgrade it completely because bootloader does not accept any changes uh, it does not accept now the, the samsung introduced the nox this kind of uh, security system what uh, prevents you to downgrade the phone me i succeeded to downgrade the phone to 4.1 or whatever 4.04 .04, using mobile odin it's application what you should install on the rooted phone and uh, in that case you will be able to downgrade the phone but when you choose the, the image file you should uh, choose do not update mobile not mobile modem image modem partition so i did this and i succeeded to downgrade but the bootloader stays the same it's uh, it will be from the previous version uh, maybe it will prevent in future unlocking uh, using some kind of unlocking boxes for Samsung devices
No special modem. Cash. It's the last. Very sick. Now the phone is rebooting. Then let us see. Switching on the top something. <coughs> No comments so far, as you can see, it's booting on by, by itself, and I believe it will work. This is it, guys. So, if you have any questions, you can try to ask me, and I will put more details in the description. So I'm very happy what I because I didn't try it before I just tried to boot it up but uh -huh, debugging okay so thank you for watching.